And this is a video of the Raspberry Pi Nixie Tube calculator. Without the case, you can see all of the uh, boards fit together. Let's try some uh, simple calculation on the calculator. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. Let's divide it by something and get a nice big fraction. Convert it to an integer. You can square it. Clear it. It's doing all of our uh, expected uh, calculator functions. So let's uh, describe all of these boards, how they fit together. I've designed this to be modular, so you can build it in pieces. You could conceivably make smaller calculators, calculators with more functions, less functions, etc. So we have three keypads here. Those are all talking via I2C to the uh, Raspberry Pi. And we have two uh, Nixie Tube display boards. It's so currently um, working via shift register and that is requiring this uh, driver IC over here to get the uh, Pi's 3.3 volts uh, driven up to the 5 volts to run those. I expect to optimize this out when I convert these boards to uh, BI2C as well. That's going to be in the next revision. Over here we have a Raspberry Pi, the older B model. This of course would work fine with B plus model. And over here is the high voltage power supply. 12 volts goes in. Uh, 170 or so volts comes out on the yellow wire and at the same time there's also a 5 volt uh, switching regulator here which supplies somewhere around yeah it supplies uh, into here 5 volts which is going to power the Pi and going to power the uh, driver logic on the Nixie tube boards let me uh, unplug it for a second Okay, I've unplugged it so I can actually touch these boards without uh, shocking myself. You can see uh, this little I2C and power cable hooks to the keypads. The keypads are modular, they connect together. So we can rearrange them if we wanted to. Um, we could conceivably replace a little keypad with big keypad if we wanted more functions. You can make up a keypad to run across the top. I wanted the keypad system to be completely modular and I think that worked out pretty well. Um, these are using Cherry uh, MX B key switches so they're kind of clicky. So we've got very nice uh, calculator keys and a nice color. Uh, each one of these keypads has uh, an I2C I.O. expander on it which is how the uh, how we pull the keyboard and uh, communicate to the Pi. These both have 16-bit I.O. expanders for 16 keys. This one has a little 8-bit I.O. expander for 8 keys. Let's take a look at the uh, Nixie display boards. This is the uh, I.O. and uh, driver cable. These are shift register base boards, so they have uh, three I.O. pins and uh, a power and a ground, also high voltage. Um, planning on replacing these with I an I2C variant. The I2C variant would only have uh, two I.O. pins and would probably be daisy chained right off the keypads. So the Nixie boards like the keypads are designed to be modular, so you pull it apart, make a four digit calculator, Make an eight-digit calculator. You could stack another one over here. Make a twelve-digit. Planning on coming out with a two-digit, so we could go ten. These are IN12 Nixie tubes. The sockets are soldered to the board, so you can easily pull a uh, a tube out, replace it. That's one of the nice things about the IN12 is the pins themselves are not soldered. Do stick in there nice and snug, though. Pins sit uh, flush, so that's why I put the uh, tubes and the components on opposite sides of the board. So let's look at the back side of a board. You can see the uh, sockets poking through, and they're all soldered in. Um, here are K155 drivers, one per each chip. We don't have to multiplex, so we get full brightness out of the uh, out of the Nixie tubes. Here are our shift registers. Um, each shift register outputs 8 bits, so it takes two shift registers to run uh, four of these chips and run uh, four tubes. 
The third shift register is used to, uh, to control the decimal point. Each decimal point has a transistor driver and I've also populated um, a footprint on the board to hook an LED to each uh, to the underside of each tube. I haven't put the LEDs in yet but they are controlled by the um, third shift register. So as I've said a couple times in this video I plan on replacing the shift registers with uh, I2C IO expanders so that we can keep the modular I2C uh, bus theme going throughout the project. Now let's look at the high voltage power supply. It has your standard uh, barrel jack here for uh, 12 volt power. There's a uh, hot and ground come off of it to uh, power the Pi and power the logic on the uh, shift register boards. Unplug this so we can get it off here. Take a look at it up close. We have here is a TL494 based uh, regulated power supply. So this uh, power supply has feedback. It has a potentiometer to adjust the uh, voltage. So we keep the voltage uh, regulated nice and tight. Um, there's an inductor for it. It's just your standard high voltage power supply. Um, over here is a switching regulator which supplies the uh, 5 volts for the Raspberry Pi. I wanted this to be uh, to be efficient and not run hot, so I went with a switcher rather than the standard uh, three terminal linear regulator. Uh, this thing here was just temporary, it's going away as soon as we come up with the I2C uh, variant of the display boards. And then we have a Raspberry Pi B model. Everything is compatible with the B plus model. Here is the uh, prototype case, the Nixie tube calculator. It is uh, made out of acrylic, comes in a big flat sheet, you take the parts out of the sheet, you stick them together, there's little slots to put a nut, and then you put a uh, screw in from the side. It all holds together relatively sturdily. Probably going to uh, fill it out with a back panel at, at some point, but this one's just a prototype. There's room for uh, keypads, they'll go in through there, a little standoff and a screw will hold them from the top. The uh, display boards pop in from the back and as before there'll be some screws that hold it in place. High voltage power supply. There's a footprint down here so it can go on the, uh, on the bottom. There's a footprint over here to hold a Pi uh, B model. 